really wish there was a way to record your gas mileage somehow and figure out how many miles per gallon you're getting. There is, okay. For this assignment, you're gonna be creating a spreadsheet that's going to help you figure out your miles per gallon. It's gonna look something like this when you're done. Okay, what you're gonna do is re record the beginning of your odometer before you start traveling. Then you fill it up. Then you record it when you're done traveling and then you look at your odometer and record that. Okay, with those two numbers and with your mile, with your gallons that you put in your tank, you can figure out how many miles per gallon your car is getting. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Um, please follow along. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up Google Drive. I found the best way to do this is to simply open a new tab and you get this screen. And then over here on the side, there's this um, button. Go ahead and click Drive. Okay, with Google Drive open, we're going to go over here to this new button and click Google Sheets. Okay, with Google Sheets open, uh, the first thing you should do always is change the name from Untitled Presentation by clicking on it. The assignment is called Miles Per Gallon. Press Enter. Okay, in cell A1, you're going to want to type miles per gallon and press enter and by pressing enter it will bring it down to cell A2 please type date and press tab which will jump over to cell B2 odometer beginning press tab again don't worry that it's going into cell C we'll fix this later type odometer Ending. Okay, in this cell, type miles driven. Press tab, go to E2, type gallons. In F2, type miles per gallon. Okay, the I. So it should look like this now. Okay, what you're going to do now is I'm going to put in some information. Um, that will help us as we kind of create something here. Um, go ahead and pause the video and just enter in information as you see it. So all of this, okay, there's nothing in this column, there's nothing in this column. So go ahead and enter all of this information in now. Okay, now that you have that entered in, kind of double check over it real quick and make sure it all looks good so we don't have any mistakes later on. You can always adjust them, um, but it's nice to have it in the right the first time. Okay. Next, what we're gonna wanna do is style this up a little bit before we move on. And this miles per gallon, we want it to be centered across our table here. So what you're gonna do is select from A1, and remember when selecting, you wanna go inside of the cell and never grab this autofill button. So select from A1 all the way to F1. And then you're going to come up here to this merge button and click merge horizontally. And then you're going to want to center the text that's in this cell. It's all one solid cell now. I'm going to come over here to this centering button. Okay, let's go ahead and change the font size to be 24. Let's change the font type. Um, go through and find one that you like. If you don't see any that you like here, go to the More Fonts button and there's more. So just take a second and kind of go through and find one you like. I know that the blue check mark means that it's already in your font selection. And you can always get rid of those by unchecking them over here. But take a second and find one that you like. The one that I'm going to use for for this is called Luckiest Guy, but you don't have to go with this. Okay, over here, let's go ahead and change the text color. Find a color that you like. I'm going to go with 
No, I'm going to go with this one right here. Okay. We're not going to put a fill on this on this one right on this cell. So let's move on a little bit to this. Um, let's go ahead and style these up real quick. So what I'm going to do is click from A2 to F2. And I'm going to give it the same font type like this guy, but this time I'm going to make the font a little bit bigger, but not 24. I'm going to be change it to 12. Okay, let's go ahead and leave the font color to be black. Next step, we want to adjust the width of these columns. I'm going to start over here on A, and there's a huge gap between the, this. So if you come between A and B, you get this little arrow. Click and drag it over. Don't move it over right next to the end of the letter. Move, give it a little tiny gap so it looks something like that. Okay, this odometer one, you'll notice that the text is going, uh, it's being cut off here. And we want to adjust one little thing over here. There's a tool that allows that. It's called text wrapping. Okay, right now you can see it, how it's set. It's set to go through to the next cell. Um, but in this case, we want it to actually be wrapped. So when it hits the end of that column, it will wrap around. So let's go with this one. This one real quick shows that it's being clipped off and that could be a good option in some cases, but we want this one. Okay, it looks like that. Go ahead and do the text wrap on this one as well, odometer ending. And on this last one, miles per gallon. Okay. All right, now with those all done, let's, let's go ahead and center this. Well, actually, let's finish adjusting the widths real quick. So quick and drag this over a little bit. Let me pull that one out just a hair. Okay, let's go ahead and center this text that's in here. So you simply select from A2 to F2 and you come over here and center that text. Makes it look a little nicer. Okay, next step we are going to add a coloring to this area and we do that with a cool new tool that Google Sheets has. So what you do is you select from A2 all the way to F13. So all of this, what we're going to do is add some coloring to it and I'll show you what I mean here. So come over here to the fill color and there's a new button here it's called alternating colors and you'll notice that it's, what it's going to do is alternate every row a different color so it's much easier to read and you get this screen over here this alternating colors um, we have a header selected so leave that checked we don't have a footer but go through and find one you like you can adjust the colors here to make your own customized color if you'd like but go ahead and do that and press done when you're done now that we have it looking good, we're going to enter in um, the missing information on these columns. So right here in D3, press equals. We're going to put in a, a formula here. Remember, every formula begins with an equal sign. So we're going to subtract this from this. So you simply click C3 minus B3 and press enter. Okay, so that is the difference between these two. Now remember that you don't have to keep typing, you don't have to keep doing that for every single one of these. Um, this uh, button right here is called an autofill button. You simply click on it and drag it down and it's going to automatically put in the, the correct numbers for us. So you'll notice it's changing every single row automatically. Super smart. All right, the miles per gallon, press equals. The formula for this one is miles driven divided by gallons. Press enter. Okay, you get 21.9, whatever, you get this huge number. Okay, go ahead and click on this and drag this one down. 
Okay, so what this is showing us is our miles per gallon. Um, here's our beginning odometer, and then I drove a 318 miles. This is just pretend. This, let's pretend it's a salesman that drives a lot. I don't know. Um, so this person drove 318 miles, and they filled up their, their gas tank with 14.5 gallons, which gave them miles per gallon of 21 miles per gallon in their car. Now, I know some of these numbers, eh, anyway. Okay, so with all of these numbers here, we're definitely going to want to get rid of a lot of the decimal places in this. Um, let's put it down to one decimal place. So what you do is you simply click on F3 and drag down to F13 so that now that this is selected if you come over here and you decrease the decimal place not increase but decrease and keep pressing it until you get to one decimal place looks good like that okay down here let's let's get ourselves an average of our miles per gallon we want to figure out how much is our car giving us um, on average so the formula for this you press the equal sign and by the way I'm on cell F14 <clears throat> you press equals and to do an average if you type A V E R G you're gonna get this one average go ahead and click on it and we want to average all of these so you simply click in cell F3 and drag down to cell F13 if for some reason you mess up um, if you press escape, it will jump out of that. So, just a quick way to hurry and get out in case you mess up. So, click and drag down. You should have cell F3 through. Remember, the semicolon means through F13 and press enter when you're done. And we have an average of 21.6 miles per gallon. Okay, highlight from cell A14 through E14. So, this area. We want to actually merge this together, so I'm going to come over here to the Merge Horizontally button. And let's type something in the cell. Let's type Average Miles Per Gallon and press Enter. Okay, looks better. Um, we're going to gap this one out just a little bit. and Let me show you another thing that I haven't talked about yet. If you right click on cell 14, you get this little drop down window. And one of the options is to resize the row. So go ahead and click on resize row. And it says right now the size of the row is 21 pixels. Okay, that's the default. Okay, let's change this to be actually 45 pixels so it's a little bit wider. Press OK. And it should uh, space out a little bit like that. Okay, it will just help stand out a little bit from the, this other information. So we're going to select two areas, the date and also the miles driven. So we can compare the days that we drove and how far we drove. So the way you select two areas in a table like this is to simply highlight this area. So from A2 to there. And then if you hold down command on your keyboard, you can select another area. So I'm going to select from D3 um, to D13. So you can see I have two areas selected. So I'm going to show you that one more time in case you didn't understand. With your keyboard, does, make sure you're holding command and not control. You hold command. You click and drag from here to here. You come over here to Miles Driven, hold down Command, and click from here to here. So now we have two areas. So now we simply come here to Insert, and then we want to insert a chart. Okay, so move this chart down over here towards the bottom. Try to make it the same width. So pull this corner in just a little bit so it matches that right there, lines up. Looks great. So this tells you how far they're driven. Let's customize this this uh, chart a little bit. So 
if you don't have a thing appearing over here, if you double click or one click, I'm not sure how many, you'll see this table, this uh, menu over here. There's data and customize. Data is what we have selected. It's telling us we have A1 through A13 and we have D1 through D13 selected. That's great. So we don't need to mess with this. This is exactly how we wanted. But just, just so you're aware, if I click this, there's other data things we could have done, other chart types. Let's go to customize though and mess with this just a little bit. Let's go to chart style. And if you would, find a nice little background color. I'm going to try to match my blue right here. So I think it's about... So anyway, find a color you like. Maybe a little bit lighter. Um, I'm going to go to chart and axis titles and right now it says miles driven versus date that's perfect let's leave it just like that one thing I do want to though is I want to center this so this isn't right here I want it right in the middle so if I come over here and press the centering button you should get that okay so series so as you shows you this right here miles driven right now it's showing you a blue we could change this color please select another color something you like better let's change the thickness of that just a little bit to something you like. Don't make it too thick though. Um, point size. That has to do with the different points. I'm going to turn those down just a little bit. So they're probably about, so they show up like seven. Boom, boom, boom. Anyway, this looks perfect actually, just like this. Um, the point is, if you did mess around with it, you still have this kind of graph going on. If it messed up anywhere, don't get too worried. All right, now let's turn this in. Let me show you how I want you to, to complete this. Okay, you're not just gonna submit it right away. You're gonna do one more step. You're gonna go File. You'll go to Download As PDF, right here. Okay, I want you to see what it looks like on a piece of paper. So that's why I'm having you download it this way. PDF is a, a great way. So if you were going to print this, you you would just press print normally. But like if you were going to mail it to somebody, you'd want to download it as a PDF so it looks nice and pretty. So that's what we're going to do. Download PDF. At this screen, you'll see it's kind of messed up. It's on two pages. We need to fix this. So you do that by coming over here to, right now it's set to landscape. We want to go to portrait. So portrait's actually going to push it all together. And what's really making it stay together is this fit to width. Okay. It's squishing in, right? You'll see the margins look perfect. The table's awesome. One more thing on this. Let's make it so, go to your formatting. We want to turn off show grid lines so it looks even prettier. Now that looks nice. Okay, that's presentable. This is ready to print. I'm not going to print though, but I am going to press export. When you export something, it downloads it right here on your Google Chrome, right there. Some of you may prefer to actually drag this to your desktop, but we don't necessarily need to do that. I'm going to open up Canvas here. All right, so here I have Canvas open. You're going to want to go to the assignment called Mileage. Press Submit. And take this file, and you're going to drag and drop it right under choose file okay I want this PDF don't submit it like a Google Doc or anything submit this now you can press submit and that is done so now that you're done um, you may play a typing game make sure you get the headphones put back nicely with the cords in the bin and good job